Basketball state tournament gets started tomorrow night for hundreds of seniors across Indiana. It will eventually be their final game. One player has been leaving his mark on the Indiana record books since his first game. Only on WRTV, Brad Brown shows us how 3,000 could be the magic number. For all four years of high school, Blackford senior Luke Brown has been playing basketball on another level. Probably just how hard he works. Um, he's typically the last one to ever leave practice. Um, he stays after almost every time um, to shoot and practice his game. Typically, he'll be in here before everyone else gets in here. And now, as another march begins, Luke is getting ready to write the final chapter on one of the best careers in Indiana history. It's been amazing. Um, I would say, though, that with COVID and everything, it really has kind of thrown a wrench in just like everything completely. Um, but looking back, I mean, it's been nothing but a blessing to be here. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. Um, but, you know, right now, obviously, we're looking forward to, uh, to a huge run, hopefully, that we're going to have. His career points total has climbed into fifth place on the all-time Indiana boys list, passing Hoosier legends and Mr. Basketballs along the way. Several games missed during his freshman season will likely leave him short of the record, but a chance of joining the 3,000-point club is not out of the question. This group that I have right now is probably the most fun group I've ever had here. Um, and it's a lot of fun to win with them. Um, you know, you don't like losing with them, but, you know, I'll lose with them. They're my brothers, so um, I've really enjoyed playing with them this year. Uh, it's, been, it's been a lot of fun. We caught up with Luke during his first season, new to the Blackford program, but as a freshman already scoring 30 points per game. Now he's grown up a lot, physically ready for anything, a skill set that is second to none and a shooting range that extends to pretty much anywhere inside any gym. There were moves I couldn't do when I was younger because I wasn't strong enough. I didn't have the strength, this, that, and the other. So it's, it's cool. My, my dad had always told me, you know, just keep working because you're going to grow. You're going to get stronger eventually. The man does not stop. The man is literally like, we'll be in the practice and we'll be like, all right, let's go home to our families. Or, you know, we're trying to go home, play some Fortnite, whatever. And the man's like, in here, I'm going to get another practice. And I'm going to go shoot, or whatever. We're like, how? We'll come in here, we'll be in a full sweat, like at 6 a.m. practices. Beyond the scoring is a court vision that seems to see the game several moves ahead a passing ability that can get underrated by all of the scoring in games sometimes he'll hit somebody that I didn't even see on the sideline I wasn't being defended um, and so I get used to it sometimes but it's, it's sometimes if you sit back and look at it it's kind of amazing so I think it started when I was younger because I was so much smaller than everybody so I had to find my way onto the court um, and that was by being a point guard, seeing little things, um, being able to, you know, when I'm not hitting my shots, being able to affect the game to be able to stay out on the court. He uses a great passer on you. Like, he finds us, like, he'll get us open. He'll get us our points. Like, we don't have, we don't have to drive the bucket, get our points. He'll get us our points. A sectional championship for Blackford last year got left hanging by attorney cut short. For Luke and the rest of the Bruins, they want this last ride to go as long as possible. You know, you look back at the pictures, we have a banner hanging up over there with like 3,000 people behind us, and it's just like to get that taken away, um, it, it, it really stunk. So, you know, now we got that hunger, and we're, we're coming, uh, you know, to take care of business. In Blackford County, Brad Brown, WRTV Sports.